Yeah, good morning. I tell you what it's about that time for. It's about that time for me to reach out on behalf of all my fellow uh, native uh, Atlanta folks. And I'm reaching out to people all across the country, people that's listening in Cleveland, people that's listening in Buffalo, uh, uh, people that's listening in Dallas, uh, uh, Oklahoma, wherever you're listening, wherever you are listening. I need all you black folks to please, please, Super Dave, give me give me some appropriate music. I'm reaching out in the most respectful way possible to Jermaine Dupree and Ludacris, whoever else was in the creation of this 2002 <laughs> hit, Welcome to Atlanta. <laughs> On behalf of all my fellow AT aliens, please, I ask y'all to do a 2023 version called Unwelcome to Atlanta. Unwelcome <laughs> to Atlanta, because... Like a Baptist church, Rock T, on first Sunday after New Year's, we are full. We are full. Black people <laughs> all over America are still looking at Atlanta as the black mecca where black <laughs> dreams come true. The population of Metro Atlanta right now is about 6,550,000. The fact is 6,542,000 of them are rappers, want to be rappers, used to be rappers, or want to get pregnant by a rapper, or trying to be a hype man for a rapper, or you're too damn old to be starting out to become a rapper. And, of course, the ones that ain't rappers are producers. And the other 100,000 are strippers. We don't need none of y'all here. We don't need none of y'all here, okay? All you young ladies graduating from these HBCUs around the country, coming to Atlanta, looking to find the man of your dreams. I got news for y'all ladies. The man of your dreams in Atlanta is looking for the man of his dreams. (laughs) These men don't want you. They want me. It's 37 straight black men that remain in Atlanta. Please just stop. And what that means, I got a better chance of getting a man in Atlanta than any of y'all do. And I don't even want one. I don't want one. But I'm just saying. All, listen, all negro dreams do not come true in Atlanta. Anybody with a mediocre credit score and two fake pay stubs can no longer qualify for a $700,000 home. If you're living in Detroit with a 480 credit score, it ain't magically jumping up 200 points by moving to Atlanta. All right? Look, there's other cities. Down south for black people to move to. Move to Jackson, Mississippi. Move to Houston. Move to Fort Lauderdale. Move to Huntsville. Move to Jacksonville. Move to Louisville. Move to Nashville. Move to any place that ends in Bill. Just stay the hell out of Atlanta. Because in Atlanta, it takes four hours to go a mile and a half in traffic. What's How many hours? Four hours. Rush hour starts at 3.15 in the morning and ends at 11.45 at night. Oh, God. You got a bunch of pale whopping dudes with twists in their hair wearing tight, loose, skinny jeans, white t-shirts, glitter belts, fake Gucci slides, driving Dodge Chargers. That's either robbing you at gas stations with three other dudes or they 38 and they live with their mama or their big sister. You not going to find the land. <laughs> The streets of Atlanta lined with magical entrepreneur success dust. It's not going to happen. What you are going to find is a bunch of dudes that run in bank scams on Instagram, trying to be party promoters, and they own landscaping businesses. You're going to find a bunch of women that sell real estate, do credit repair, fix eyelashes, spray uh-huh. hair in their kitchen, and walk around wearing fuzzy Ugg slippers in the airport and dating dudes that keep their car all day while she at work. And she give me five grand to split oh, when she get her tax return. <laughs> That's not what it is. Stay the hell out of Atlanta. Do not welcome. You are not welcome in Atlanta. <laughs> Can you feel the wall, dog? <laughs>